What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. SaintSmart just sent me their newest laser, the Jinsoku LE1620. Don't let its small size fool you. This comes with a pretty powerful 5500 milliwatt laser that can engrave and cut through a lot of different things. So let's see what it can do. The first thing you'll notice is how few parts there are in the box. There's only three main mechanical pieces. Two screws attach the gantry to the base, and four more are used to attach the laser. Wiring is a breeze too. There's one connection for the stepper motor, and two on the bottom for the laser. This clip is sped up, but the actual time to assemble this was four minutes. The instructions are really clear and get right to the point. It comes with a USB stick with laser gerbil and light burn on it, but you can also get them right from their websites. I'm already a light burn user, and while it costs 40 bucks versus Laser Gerbil, which is free, I think it's worth it. I'll put up the configuration file for Lightburn on my website. Check out the link in the description. I also have a bunch of free SVG files over there, so let's grab one of those and use it for our first project. I get this tile from my local home improvement store. They're clear glass with a white back. We can engrave our image on the back, just don't forget to mirror it in your software. When we flip it over, we're left with something like this. This machine may look small, but most of the stuff I make is under 5 inches, so it's more than adequate for a lot of projects. These slate coasters make great gifts and can be an easy item to sell at craft shows. You can engrave someone's name, characters from their favorite movie or TV show, and a ton of other things on them. I buy them in bulk. I'll put a link in the description for all the materials I used in this video. I used a scrap piece of plywood to make this base for the laser. It has a rectangle engraved into it to show me the max working area and to help me align material. Then all I have to do is change out my artwork and start the next job. With school back in session, there's a good chance you just spent a bunch of money on school stuff. This can be a great tool to quickly personalize things like notebooks and even pencils. My homemade plywood base is great for engravings and you can cut materials out on it, but I prefer to use these metal grits. They're great for designs that you're going to be cutting all the way through. Let's give that a try. This is five millimeter thick plywood. I set up my design to make multiple passes around the perimeter. You can see how fine of a cut this makes. It holds the letters together like a puzzle, but they pop right out. It can also easily engrave and cut through leather. Just make sure you're using veg tanned. Some of the materials you might want to cut can create some harmful fumes when burned, so it's always best to do a little research on them and work in a well-ventilated area. I use these little magnets to hold my leather down flat as it wants to curl up in areas. The engraving was probably a little hot, but this still looks good for a test piece. It's a good idea to grab a lot of different materials to practice with and figure out what settings work best. This is just a small taste of what you can do. I'd love to hear what you would use a machine like this for. Leave a comment below and feel free to ask any questions. If you're interested in learning more about this machine or purchasing one for yourself, I'll have a link in the description. Thanks for checking the video out. If you're new here, I do content on everything related to making stuff. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.